welcome to our very short story on a very useful both joke. I call this both joke the Vadim's joke after my friend Vadim Glutzmann, very famous violinist. And here we have with us Elfin, who is going to demonstrate this both joke and its value. So the first thing we're going to do is, I will show you what it is. So we're going to play up bow at the frog with a very little bow and with the cole stroke and we go and then very quickly we go to the tip but not quite all the way to the tip because we're going to do the same thing and then go back to the frog now the important thing to know is that the speed of the boat to get to either end is very fast but once we're there it's very slow because you have to think and what do you need to be thinking about the bow holds, the bow holds right, the bow. right, the bow position, and if the bow is straight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's let's try it. So when we do this, we're going to put our hand over the high dot. That's right, just so you're balancing your violin. And we're always checking our fingers on our bow, but they're very what? Loose. Loose. Can you say that a little louder for all the folks <laughs> out there? Good. Okay, so here we go. Poof. Good. And we're going to go here and poof. Ba. Good. And ba. pretty good. Now, we want to be able to go from here to here without the bow jumping. So that means that we are balancing the bow with our arm. So our arm is doing all the work with a very loose bow position. Up and down and up. Take as much time as you need because this is where you get to think. Down and up. Now, let's do the same thing on the D string. I'm going to get a little away from you so I don't bump into you. Up and up. Up and down. Good. And take your time here because this is where we relax. Up and and the G string. Now, what do you notice about the G string? You have to open up the arm. Yep, and how about the level? It's, it's going to be higher, right? So up and down and up. Oh, that's good. You almost lost your bow in the air. And down. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to extend that and we're going to now play a whole bow mark to lay with this open, beautiful tone. And the D string. And the G. Poof. Now, just to get it even a little bit better, we're going to be aware that we're not pressing up with our thumb. And then the bow will have a most beautiful sound. Poof. Good. So just as a review, what is the value of the Vadim stroke to the whole bow martelet then? For it to remain straight at the tip and mm -hmm. also to make sure that your fingers are loose and in the right position. That's right. And, and also a really helpful thing is because we go so quickly from the frog to the tip, doesn't have time in our brain to think about it. That means that we have to delegate all the responsibilities of this bow stroke to your body. And that's where we want it to stay. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, thanks Elson.